A Holden Kingswood derailed a train, left chaos on and around the tracks and a repair bill in the millions early this morning. The driver walked away from the wrecked vehicle with a broken arm. Fourteen carriages from the early morning Melbourne bound goods train careered off the track as the car slammed into its side at the Hopkins Road level crossing rock bank. One carriage rolled over. The 80 ton wagons were no match for the Kingswood. It appears that he's uh, ran into the side of the train, into one of the carriages, uh, derailing uh, several of the carriages. Lumps of BHP steel scattered, the rail line ripped up and sleepers smashed. The Holden spun 360 degrees, leaving its engine 30 metres down the track. The driver walked away with only a broken arm. The car is, uh, well, we've seen it, it's, it's, it's a total wreck and the fact that he crawled out of it is, uh, amazes me. With the line closed, buses carry commuters from Ballarat, Bacchus Marsh and Melton. A tow truck carried the Kingswood. Heavy haulage machinery and rail gangs arrived to relay the track and remove the crash carriages. We don't have any estimate of costs at, at present. Uh, it is, as you would have seen, substantial damage, so it'll take us some time to get some figures on that. But in the millions, do you think? It could be that high, I'm not too sure. While police say the car driver recovering in hospital may be booked for failing to give way at an intersection. The Public Transport Corporation has set up an inquiry into the crash. About a kilometre of track will have to be replaced along with around a thousand sleepers. However, the PTC expect the line to be reopened within 48 hours. Simon Breer, 7 Nightly.